On to Mexico's top tourist destinations. They go on red alert as Category 3 hurricane barrel barrels toward it. And today's Daniel Monahan has the latest on the storm that has left a deadly trail of destruction across several Caribbean islands. Barrel is currently packing maximum winds of 115 miles per hour. It is headed for what could be a direct hit today on Mexico's Caribbean coast resort of Tulum. Tulum has about 50,000 permanent inhabitants and at least as many tourists on an average day. As the wind began gusting over the city's beaches, four-wheelers with megaphones rolled along the sand, telling people to leave. The National Hurricane Center is warning of a dangerous storm surge and damaging waves. Dallas tourist Miriam Setra opted to ride the hurricane out instead of going back two days early. So, uh, went out and bought a bunch of groceries, figured that we'd get the last of the sun in today too, and then it's just gonna be hunker down and to stay indoors until hopefully it, it passes. Idaho tourist Lara Masters was supposed to fly home on Saturday. The hurricane forced her to postpone the flight until Monday. Um, and then this morning we woke up and just filled all of our empty water bottles with, um, with water from the top and put them in the freezer. The red alert called by Mexico's Civil Protection Agency signifies a threat of maximum hazard from barrel. It told people to stay in their homes or at storm shelters. President Obrador urged those in the storm's path to take shelter. Officials say heavy to torrential rains could trigger landslides and flooding. The storm churned past the Cayman Islands on Thursday after belting Jamaica with winds that tore apart buildings and uprooted trees. Authorities say at least 11 people have died from the storm across Jamaica, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and in northern Venezuela. The National Hurricane Center expects the storm to weaken rapidly while crossing the Yucatan Peninsula today, but sees Beryl getting stronger again when it moves over the Gulf of Mexico. The storm is expected to shift towards northeastern Mexico and southern Texas late in the weekend. Daniel Monahan, NTD News. The western U.S. is under a major prolonged heat wave. Triple-digit temperatures are increasing wildfire risks in Northern California. The Thompson Wildfire in Butte County has now burned about 3,700 acres. Officials say firefighters now have the fire about 30 percent contained. About 12,000 people in and around Oroville were under evacuation orders yesterday. A Butte County official says most people evacuated this week have been allowed to return home. Officials say the fire has injured 11 firefighters. Oroville will see record temperatures of 110 degrees or more over the next five days. Tomorrow could reach an all-time high of 113 degrees, making it harder for fire crews. Cal Fire says there are now more than two dozen active wildfires across the state. The Basin Fire in Fresno County is nearly half contained with 22 square miles burned. 